If this were a story that were written as fiction, I think in many respects it would seem a little far-fetched and unfathomable. The fact that it's actually an honest, true account of three real people makes it even more compelling. In 1935 and early 36, in a small town in Louisiana, just a stone's throw from the mighty Mississippi River, three cousins were born. They grew up together and went on to become unexpectedly famous individuals in music and pop culture. They are Jerry Lee Lewis, the rock and roll icon, Jimmy Swaggart, the famous televangelist, and Mickey Gilley, the country western star. Most people are aware of all three, but most don't know that A, they're related, and B, they grew up so closely with each other. It's really a story about so much more than just these three men. It's about the depression and post-depression American South. It's about musical influences. It's about growing up in tight-knit families. And it's about the tight bonds that are developed between men and their mothers in very trying circumstances. I have seen these three men, all three of them, perform literally hundreds of times. I've met most of the people that are close to these three. Uh, most of their family members and beginning to really understand not only what they did but why they did it has been personally rewarding. Most people may not realize that Jimmy Swaggart actually learned to play piano right alongside his cousin Jerry Lee Lewis. Mickey Gilley did not have his first number one country hit until he was 38 years old. When Jerry Lee Lewis was 18, 19 years old, he attended Bible college and was actually training to become a trained minister. Pages turn very quickly, the reader will be really thoroughly engaged. 